Oh, hi there. Hello there. I'm Dean from Martin & Co. Hi, nice to meet you. And Come you. on in. Thank you. If you wouldn't mind taking your shoes off, actually, I have actually just hoovered and had the carpets cleaned. She wants me to take my shoes off. How's she going to feel when a tenant walks in here with their muddy boots on her after a hard day's work? I mean, I have actually started thinking I'm going to have laminate flooring fitted throughout. She wants to fit laminate flooring throughout. Poor quality laminate flooring will just scratch or dent from stiletto heels. I mean, look at the shoes. Um, and in here we've got the garage. Um, I'm quite keen to keep this um, myself, really. I've got quite a lot of storage in there. Um, it has got a lock, so I won't really be bothering um, any of the tenants. Um, I won't come in and out of this way, but but um, I really do need to keep that um, with all, all my belongings in it, really, because I haven't got anywhere else to put them. That should be OK, shouldn't it? She's looking to rent a three-bed detached property with an attached garage, yet keep the garage for herself. Tenants renting this type of property will expect some form of exclusive possession. The contents inside may not be insured and won't form the part of any inventory. And how is a tenant going to feel if the landlord wants to come to the property and get access to it? Also, how is the landlord going to get access to the garage if the tenant's cars are parked on the front drive right up to the garage door? If you'd like to follow me upstairs. Well, thank you very much. I'll show you up here. Okay. And then in here we've um, we've got the bathroom. I'm looking to um, put uh, completely replace this whole bathroom suite. Um, I'm actually going to put in a nice jacuzzi um, bath in the corner here, um, which will obviously get me more rent. She's looking to replace this bathroom suite with the jacuzzi bath. The investments you're making that will not be returned through the rent you'll receive. If she's looking to update the bathroom, a simple white suite will be more than adequate. It'll be attractive to tenants and may well rent the property out more quickly. I've been having an absolute nightmare with um, the smoke alarms, so I've actually taken the battery out um, and I, I can't really replace it. I've just had the, um, the ceiling painted and I mean taking that off is just going to cause it to be redecorated all over again. So. Um, should be okay, shouldn't it? I can't believe she's prepared to rent a property out without a working smoke alarm. As a landlord, she has a duty of care to ensure the safety of her tenants. At Martin & Co, we would always insist on a landlord having a working smoke alarm within their property, no matter the type, no matter the age. However, for all properties built since 1991, there is legislation to cover that. Now, I really love my garden and there's some, there's some quite precious plants here. So I'm really hoping that the tenant is going to sort of look after the plants. I mean, will they li be listed on the inventory? Um, I can provide all the sort of Latin names for them. Um, I just want to ensure that the garden is kept the way it is now. Is this lady serious? If a landlord is that protective about the garden, the best advice we can give them is to hire a gardener. Specific names of plants will not be listed in an inventory. The most we can put in an inventory is a seasonal condition of the garden along with photos to match. Tenants like the idea of gardens, but they don't necessarily like the idea of gardening. Therefore, the most we can ask of a tenant is to ensure that the lawns are mowed, hedges are trimmed and weeds attended to. They will look after my garden furniture, um, won't they? Um, I would just quite like to keep it in the same condition. I mean, make sure they oil it and put a cover on it at the end of the season. It's garden furniture. It's designed to be outside. It's designed to be in the elements. It will be noted on the inventory with its current condition. And if there's any damage to it at the end of the tenancy, that will be noted and dealt with. This coming from the lady who wants to keep the garage, therefore if she wants to keep the garage, where are the tenants going to store it? As a dedicated lettings and property management agent, Martin & Co can offer realistic professional lettings advice. To find out more, go to www.martinco.com or visit your local office.